So I'm back again, and I just wanted to show you guys a beginner's Wiccan book that I picked up from my library just a few days ago. And, no, it was yesterday, and I already finished reading it. It's that good. I, this is my new favorite book. Um, well, I'll show it to you. So, it's called The Elements of Witchcraft, The Natural Magic for Teens, and it's by Ellen Dugat. Not exactly how to say her last name. But, like I said, I got this from the library, and the second I find a store that sells it, I'm buying it, because it's amazing. And, let's see. So, the thing I like best about this book is it wasn't like reading a textbook. It was like, it was like she was actually talking to me, you know? That's one of the reasons I like Silver Ravenwolf, but Silver Ravenwolf, I'm not sure about her. But, okay, so this is a few topics that it covers. Um, it talks about the traditions, it talks about uh, the god and the goddess. Um, it gives a few different um, spells and stuff that I thought were pretty neat. It, it's not a spell book, but um, it does have a few um, every now and then. Uh, let's see. Um, it has a chapter on each of the elements. Let's get a little closer. It has a chapter on each of the elements. Um, and it even has a meditation for each of the elements, which I thought was really cool. Um, it has, so it talks about flower magic and, um, trees, which I, and flower magic was actually pretty interesting to me. I've never heard of it before, but it's basically, um, taking a flower in the place of a candle, if you get what I'm saying. Um, say you couldn't find a yellow candle, then you would go and get a, um, a, a sunflower, I guess you could say. And use that instead. Um, let's see, what else does it have? Um, it talks about the triple goddess and different um, goddesses that you can use for each of her different aspects. Like, I use Bast for um, the maiden, Isis for the mother, and Nephthys for the crone. Um... It talks about the Sabbaths, and even though this is a beginner book, it actually went into the Sabbaths pretty deeply, and it's not a very thick book, but it has a lot of information in here. Um, let's see, what else does it have? It has a few rituals. It doesn't have a ritual for every single um, Sabbath. It has a teen uh, Samhain ritual right there. Uh, I didn't look at it. I didn't I just kind of skimmed through that one because I don't, I like making my own rituals, but it talks about the, talks about different tools such as the wand, the staff, the athame, a uh, cauldron or chalice, um, and a pentacle. Um, it talks about different ways to cast a circle. And I'm actually going to make a video about that here soon, just so you know. Um, talks about consecrating, consecrating different uh, ritual tools, and I think that's about it. I got to this section and decided that I had to make a video about it, so I haven't read this section yet. It's the very last one, but, so yeah, that's this book, and it's the best book I can think of for beginners. It has so much information, and I don't know, it's, you guys just have to read it, and like I said, I just got this from my local library, and I live in Mormon Christianville, and they had it, so I know you guys can find this somewhere, or find Wiccan books somewhere. Um, I think that's about it for now. Hopefully, I'll be making more videos soon, but I just had to show you guys this book, and I'm already at four minutes, so I'll talk to you guys later. Blessed be.